Here's what we're going to do today. We are going to use the free video editing software DaVinci Resolve to turn your gameplay highlights and clips into premium TikTok content. So let's get started. I am here in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page. If you've just loaded up Resolve and your screen doesn't look like this, it's probably because you're on another page. Resolve is organized by pages represented by these icons on the bottom of your screen. So if you're not on the edit page, click this icon to load into that. In the edit page, we're gonna make sure our media pool is open. You can toggle that off and on by clicking this icon. And this is where all of our video footage and timelines will live. So now we can pull in the clip we wanna edit for TikTok. Now, if we were editing a video for YouTube or maybe Facebook, we could drag this clip right onto the timeline and it would create a new timeline for us with the exact dimensions and frame rate of the clip. But since we are making a video for TikTok and we want that video to be vertical, this is what we need to do. Right click in your media pool and go to timelines, create new timeline. Then you can name your new timeline, use custom settings, go to format, and we're gonna change the timeline resolution to 1080, by 1920. And we're gonna set this frame rate to 30. And instantly you'll see that it opens that timeline and we have a vertical image here. Next, we can drag the highlight clip right onto that timeline. The highlight clip I'm using is a mock-up I created for this video. I'm not currently streaming, so this is some footage I recorded a while ago, and then I pulled in some free stock footage online to simulate the webcam. An important thing you need to be aware of is this chain icon right here. This is linked selection. If that is on, then your audio and video will move together. If it is off, then you only select one of those at a time. If you need to trim your clip, then you can make sure that link selection is enabled. Find when you want to start the clip. And at the beginning of your clip move, you'll get this icon and then you can drag it in to your playhead. Click that empty space and click delete. And that will shuffle all your footage over. Next, we are going to uncheck that link selection option. Pull this down so we have a little more room to work. And with our video selected, we're gonna hold Alt and drag that clip to a new video layer. And you'll see that with Alt down, Command on a Mac, it will duplicate that clip and drag it to wherever you want. And we're actually gonna do that one more time so that we have three stacked layers of videos. And we're gonna start working with this top layer on video three. This is going to be our webcam. On the right side of your screen, whether it's open or not, you'll have this inspector. These are all of the options you have for your clip, how to change the position, the cropping, all of that. This offers a lot of precision, but there's another method that I recommend, especially for new users. And some of the time I find it to be much, much easier. In our main viewer, down in the bottom left corner, we have this drop down arrow menu. And we have options for transform and crop and some other things. We're gonna select crop. And then with this top layer selected, we are going to pull this down so it is only around our webcam footage here. And it doesn't look like we've done anything right now, but if we click this and go to transform, if we grab this box and move it around, you'll see that now that top layer is only that webcam. So I can move that around and I can even grab this corner to scale up, but you'll notice that it's scaling in a weird way. And that is because of this bar over here. Because we cropped this clip, the actual center of the source clip is not the center of our new cropped clip. So we're gonna grab this bottom circle or the anchor point and pull that so it's right over the face of this webcam. Now, if we grab this corner to scale up, it will scale from the center like we like. And this control up here is for rotation. So I'm gonna scale this up a little bit more and position it about where I think I'll want it. And I'll even hop back into cropping and pull our edges in a little more so that's right on this character's face. And I'll go back to transform, scale up just a smidge again, and then we can move on. We'll select our video on video two, and we'll scale this up until the simulated webcam we have here is just off screen. And that keeps our reticle nice and centered and on all the action, especially since this is an FPS. And here, unfortunately, we run into a little bug in Resolve, but it's very easy to address. Let me show you. If we select this bottom layer and scale it up past the layer on video two, you'll see that we won't see anything. It will remain black. And to address that, we need to select the video on video two. I'm gonna go into cropping and I'm just going to pull in this right side just a hair at all. And you'll see that it reveals the image underneath. Then I can go back to that bottom layer. I'm gonna scale it up so now it fills the screen. And you'll see we've now replicated this. But what I'm gonna do is open my effects library, 
go to Toolbox, Open Effects, Gaussian Blur, and drop that on my video on video one. And in my inspector, I'm gonna move from video to Open Effects, pull up the strength of this blur, you'll see it working in your viewer. And on the border type, I'm gonna change that from black to replicate. And this is really close, you can just adjust the fit. I'm gonna drag my webcam up a bit more so you see more of our main video. Having this back layer be a blurred copy of our footage uh, really keeps it visually interesting and also you don't have those annoying black bars on the top and bottom of your footage. I can see here that my crop on my camera is just a little bit off so I'm gonna go back to those cropping controls and pull that in a bit tighter and I'll maybe scale that up just a little bit more. That's our main edit, now we just have to export. So I'm gonna come over here to this rocket ship that will open our deliver page. I'm gonna keep it on custom controls and we're just gonna make sure this format is MP4 and the codec is H.264. Then we can just choose where we want to export, name it, click add to render queue, and then start render over here on the right side of our screen. And that'll render out. After you have your final video file, I recommend using something like Dropbox or Google Drive to send it right to your phone. Then you can upload that to TikTok and you have this really visually interesting highlight game clip that keeps both the action of the clip and your webcam focused in frame. And that's all, it's pretty simple. I know I went over some of the tools a little quick, but feel free to rewatch this video. There are only a few core really important tools, but once you're familiar with those, you'll be able to crank out these highlight clips and use your stream content on TikTok. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you wanna see what else you can do in this free program, DaVinci Resolve, consider subscribing. And if you use this method to create any gaming TikTok content yourself, drop a link to your profile in the comments. I'd love to check it out. Thanks, I'll see you next time.